Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse my hair, I um, don't know what to do with my hair today. I didn't do anything. So it's a mess, but I think I look pretty cute. I tried a new makeup product and I hate it already. It's this under eye powder. Yeah, not feeling it. Okay, so today's makeup um, tutorial is not a makeup tutorial because my face is done. Um, so when there was a Sephora Black Friday sale and I tried to look at all the makeup stuff, I realized how much stuff is out there. It's overwhelming sometimes, it's suffocating, it's too much. So I want to make this video for like brown girls because I have a brown complexion, so all the products I use you can use. I wanted to make a video that talks about the basic stuff you need for a look like this. Like literally like the, the basic things you need in your makeup kit. So I'm going to tell you the low down. Um, you can write it down or watch this video or DM me, whatever. But I'll tell you what you actually need to look good. Like you don't need 20,000 products. Trust me. Okay, so start with the base. Um, always moisturize your skin, obviously. I can do another skin um, tutorial, whatever, later. But right now it's makeup. So make sure you always wash your skin and moisturize your skin um, before you put on makeup. Very important. So the tools first tools you will need is a real techniques makeup sponge because makeup sponge will change the way you do your makeup I promise you that trust me and I use this little one both real techniques very cheap compared to like the real sponges so so cheap so get a small one for under eye it gets in under your eyes this one for like all over the face so that's what you need okay then you need a very good foundation I have dry skin so this is for dry skin people. Um, I am obsessed right now with the Fenty Beauty um, foundation. This is the hydrating long wear foundation in a shade 310. That's my shade and I love it. It matches me perfectly. Uh, I could go a little dark, lighter, but I don't care. Like I want to go darker, but like you should match yourself. I'm 310. Um, uh, and for oily skin, there is another option for Fenty Beauty foundation for oily skin. So match yourself. Um, the oily one I think oxidizes so you have to be careful when you choose your shade um, the other foundation I love I used to love but like I kind of I'm hooked to Fenty I'll, I'll go back to this sometimes but I I'm only like I love Fenty it's a makeup forever HD foundation my shade is Y415 as I said I like to look a little darker so you have to shoot, choose your shade um, so first you need is two Oh, sorry one very good foundation um it has to be the kind of foundation that can go light coverage to heavy coverage and this does that this one you have to layer up a lot but for this one like a little goes a long way and if you want to cake up your face you can do that too because you know what there's nothing wrong with caking nothing wrong you know it's our body our life our face i do whatever the fuck i want with my face got it okay next we have concealer so I um, am obsessed with concealer because I have dark circles and mom, my mom bags under my eye and I need to look fresh and cute all the time. So <clears throat> there are two um, concealers that I use. One is the Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. My shade shape is, my shade is Warm Beige and I'm obsessed with it because this is high coverage and it's wonderful. Um, I also used to love NARS. So NARS, I'm, um, I'm, 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 my color is a gin, my color is ginger in NARS. I use the stick um, radiance one. I also use um, this one when I want some extra coverage, but you only need one. If you have to get one concealer, I would suggest the two born this way one. But if you like um, different textures, different stuff, then you can get this one. But honestly, all you need for your face is this little boy and this little girl or two little girls or two big girls i don't know but all you need is these two to give you a flawless complexion that's all you need don't buy into this that primer you know sticky powder whatever bullshit no no we don't want that we want basic good stuff okay and then to set your under eye i don't care about your foundation come on whatever fuck it but under eye it you should never let your under eye foundation move smudge whatever um, so I use the Laurie Mercier translucent powder, translucent one, this one, holy grail, I love it, I use it all the time, my makeup doesn't move, I like have um, sessions for like hours, 
and then my concealer doesn't move because of this powder. Um, not that I have any, have had any for a while, but you know, just like to pretend like everybody likes me. <laughs> um, so repeat after me for face, you need foundation, a concealer and a powder to set it all up, right? Basics. Okay. Now for your eyes. All you need is just get a basic palette. You don't need like 20,000 colors. Um, my favorite palette is Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I don't know if they have it anymore, but girl, if you if you get this, forget all the other palettes. It's honestly my personal recommendation because it has the browns. It has like the shimmers and look, like I, I butchered it. It's a, like all of them have holes in it, shit. It has a bronze, it has like um, a champagne, it has everything. So if you get one of these palettes, you don't really like, I haven't used a lot of palettes since I got this one. Like I'll use my highlight and um, my, my bronzer as my eyeshadow, but I don't use any other eyeshadows. Like this is my go-to, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, basic in your kit, foundation, concealer, powder, a fa a, an eyeshadow palette and these sponges, okay? Okay, now moving on next. You need a bronzer because when you put foundation in your face, the, the, the you lose all the contour or um, any dimension to your face. My favorite is Fenty Beauty. My uh, color is Bahan Girl, um, Gal. But um, if you're a starter, I would suggest NARS Laguna. It's it's really subtle. It's really good. You, I think for brown girls, it's, it's very subtle. And I think it's going to go very well with your complexion, whoever you are. I love you. Um, so yeah, either this one, this is like a more pro, but if you want basic, get NARS Laguna. A little pricey, but they have the travel sizes too, so get the travel size. And the other one I have is Hula Benefit. This is for the days when I want to go extra glam and like get the look, um, which really happens because we're in a pandemic. <laughs> okay, so bronzer done. And then you need a highlight just to like make these cheeks pop, you know, if you want or like make the highlight inner corner pop. I always use highlight to make my inner corner pop. Um, I have a lot of fancy expensive highlights, but you know what I've been using? This bad boy. Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlight. Some kind of gold shade, I'm sorry, I forgot the shade. The shade. If you if you message me, I can tell you. Um, but this, this little thing here, Obsessed. The other one I use is um, Fenty Beauty. Um, this one, Hustla Money, Hustla Baby and Mean Money. But honestly, just get one. If you are a basic, if you want to have a basic kid, you don't want a lot of fancy things, then get this one and Lar uh, Nars Laguna bronzer, okay? So basics, just one thing of each, okay? Next, you need um, to bring some color to your face. And I'm going to tell you this, you need only two um, blushes in your um, makeup box two shades one is a neutral nude shade and one is a pinky shade you don't need anything else i would highly suggest getting these two colors okay my suggestion warm soul by mac like no matter what i always wear this warm soul um they changed their formula it used to be like better but um warm soul by mac get one this is a very neutral shade so if you have like a nude makeup this is perfect okay and the other one is nars orgasm i have it in a palette this color this color doesn't matter what color you are who you are it will always look good so if you have to get blushes just get two warm soul and nars orgasm because um, everybody needs to have orgasms in their life i mean i can get some so i just use my beauty palette <laughs> um so yeah two um, blushes that's that's all you need okay now, you need a lipsticks in your kit. And I would suggest get um, one nude and one kind of pinky shade. So my favorite nude is, um, it's up to you, um, is Unbuttoned by Fenty. I like this because you can pair it up with lip liners and make it look any color you want. So if you get a Fenty Unbutton this color lip paint, and then you can make it pink based um, using your lip liner, Makeup Forever lip liner. My one is 3C, Makeup Forever 3C. Um, or I, um, shit, what's the name of this? Oh, uh, or I make it brown by using Max Strip Brown. 
So one lipstick does two jobs for me. It makes it pink and it makes it brown. So you use this as a base color and get two lip liners. Uh, you can get a pink shade and you can get a brown shade. You can get both using one lipstick. So I suggest that in your kit, if you don't want to have any colors, get a nude because it goes with everything and get like a pinky shade. It doesn't have to be bright pink, to be honest. I don't wear bright colors. Like I barely wear bright colors. And, uh, and if you want like a red, if you like a red person, um, I really like the Fenty Red Uncensored. Um, get that one. It's it's a universal red. It looks good on everybody. Obsessed. I've been using it since it came out. So my lipstick recos. Um, not too many colors. Nothing fancy. Okay. Now mascara is very um, subjective. Like each has like if it depends on like the shape of your eye or like your eyelash length. I like L'Oreal Telescoping Mascara because it gives you like long length and volume. Can you, I'm making a video. Can you give me five minutes? My elf? Okay, close the door. Close the door. Close the door, sir. Sorry about that. Um, I like L'Oreal Telescoping Mascara. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, this is my holy grail. I've been using this for like 12 years now. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, but whatever. It works for me. And it's cheap. You should replace your mascara every three months. Do you know how expensive it, drugs, like non-drugstore mascaras are? 30 to $40. You think I have that much money? That kind of money to replace it every three months no but this is ten dollars so it's doable yeah okay and then you need to draw your brows on because girl you can put your whole face on and then you're like i don't got bry brows not a good look so you need to draw your brows my favorite is anastasia um in medium brown if you're a brown girl you have dark hair this is like really good and you know what i love about this one brow definer it's triangle so you can get a lot of surface surf, surface in one stroke and it's like it doesn't take very long for you to draw the, your eyebrows my eyebrows literally take like two seconds i swear i'm not lying like it, it is true okay and then if you i'm not i don't wear eyeliner i don't like eyeliner but if you're an eyeliner girl um i would suggest getting the benefit roller line this one get a travel size a small one they last a long time i love it it's so dark so it's darker than my soul uh, it's darker than all the sins i've committed yeah so yeah get this okay so now that all the makeup is out of the way you cannot look good without the tools you can buy all the makeup in the world but if you don't have the tools to put it on you cannot look good so i'm gonna give you a basics of brushes you know what you need you need a foundation brush real techniques okay real techniques cheap ten dollars this is called the buffing brush but I use it for foundation because it's very dense and it's just like flawless application. And always after putting your foundation with the brush, sponge it because um, brushes leave street marks, okay? Foundation brush. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, you need two eyeshadow brushes. Two. One, these are called blending brushes, right? Blending brushes. They're from um, Sigma E25. Sigma E25. Get two of these, okay? One for like the base color and one to blend like if you want to go fancy like that's all you need that's all i use two eyeshadow brushes one foundation brush one blush brush that looks like this um my one's from sigma it's called f40 one blush brush okay one highlight brush this is um called the setting brush by real techniques cheap 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 ten dollars Real Techniques, this is called Contour Brush. This is how I um, contour my face. This is for bronzer. So for bronzer, this is to set under the eye. This is by e.l.f., $5. It's called a blush brush, but I, I love to use it for my under eye. You can also get one of these, the Real Techniques setting brush and use it for under eye, um, your preference. So I'll show you what I have then. You know what I have? I have a foundation brush. A brush to set your makeup, two eyeshadow brushes, a highlight brush, a contour brush, and a blush brush. So you know what you need? This is all you need to look good. This is literally all you need. And you can get the whole thing under $100 because I use cheap stuff. I use really cheap stuff. All my stuff is cheap. Real Techniques has really good brushes. So if you're ever doubting yourself, go for Real Techniques brushes. It's a game changer. And if you want to go fancy like me, 
use um, a fix plus from Mac. You can get this in a travel size, $25. Um, what it does is that after you put your makeup on, you like spray it all over your face and then you take your sponge and just squeeze it. Um, what it what it does is it blends all your makeup really well and um, it doesn't look uneven. It doesn't look streaky or everything is blended really nice and your makeup will stay on forever. So um, that's it. That's literally all you need to look good. Like my whole face, like that's all, that's all the products I use. You don't really need anything else. So if you look at the Sephora website and get overwhelmed, just know that there might be a thousand products out there but you only need your basics don't 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 buy into the whole oh black friday get one get 200 dollars free whatever like no you only need the basics and if you want to go fancy you can like add something like a liquid highlighter which i because i love glowing i love highlight i got like the rare just the rare beauty one in a shade flan like if i want to go really fancy and like do something a little different like i'll use a highlight you know um, but otherwise you don't need a lot of stuff to look good. So yeah, I hope it was helpful if you need, um, if you want to know more or whatever, like, if you want to ask me about the products and stuff, um, DM me, I'll put my Instagram below and, um, thank you for always watching my videos. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe in the pandemic. If I don't make another, um, video before all the holidays, Happy holidays and a happy new year. I hope we get rid of this fucking virus and next year hopefully have the best year ever. Do you want to say bye to my friends? Bye. A elf kiss? Bye.